Kieran has been uh, sort of carrying an injury for the last couple of weeks. Uh, he's been fine uh, and been able to get through the games, obviously no problem. Um, it happened, I think it goes back to maybe the Ulster game, uh, Connacht Ulster game, and, and from that on he obviously uh, re-hurted uh, against Argentina. So, um, yeah, he's, he, he, it's obviously a, a, a not great for Connacht because he's going to miss out for a couple of weeks, but uh, it was felt that it's the right time to just get him f fixed up and, and, and ready for what's coming up in the new year. Everyone that was in here uh, is, is, is ready to train and, and play uh, at the weekend. Obviously, there will be uh, some changes within the team because of the other guys that have been released back. Um, but it's a great opportunity for us to see uh, some of the guys who have prepared, helped prepare the team over the last couple of weeks get an opportunity to play. I think it's obviously been a, a good uh, a good thing for him. He, he he's always seen himself as a ten. So having the opportunity to play there week in week out is is obviously what he needs in order to be able to develop as a as a as a young ten. Um, you know, if you look through the how he had to sort of solve the problems in uh, Exeter and uh, in, in in those European Cup games is really important. And he's come back into camp with a nice air of confidence about him and uh, has applied himself really well. Um, Good, reasonably good performance uh, against Italy, and and then obviously two small cameos coming off the bench. So, you know, it could be an opportunity for seeing a bit more of him this weekend. Obviously, uh, guys are very, very. Uh, we're delighted with beating the All Blacks, um, but you know, in this in this place. Things move on very, very quickly, and uh, there was a review uh, of things that we felt we could have done better, uh, a review of things that we felt we'd done well, and, and then that's parked, and we move on to uh, USA, and uh, it's another test match. Um, the guys who obviously will come into the into the side and into the 23 have have a lot to prove for themselves, and uh, so the, the the page turns very, very quickly in here, and uh, we move on to the next the next task really. Yeah, I think it's very fitting, and like I've known him since he was in the in the academy, um, in the Lancer Academy, and you know he's always been a very driven player, um, massively talented, and uh, an unbelievable head for the game, and I, I think that's where he he stands out for me uh, above a lot of the other players that are out there, uh, is his ability to see things on the pitch and, and and pick the right options. I think he's in a really good place. Yeah, I, I think uh, there's there's been some really high parts of his careers and I think he's in he's in one of them at the moment you know what I mean so he's uh he's in great form uh he's he's working hard um his fitness levels look really good um so I think he's he's just in a really good place at the moment guys obviously uh that 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 play on Saturday have have last Saturday to compete with and um you know it's their last opportunity within the green jersey uh for this period so they'll want to sort of go out and leave the, leave that in a in a really good place going going into what will be a busy period for them over the over the uh December uh Huntington Cup games and uh, and so on so you know I think I think it's a great opportunity. There's a nice buzz around training this morning. Um, the focus has definitely switched. Um, so we, we're in a situation here where you don't get to sit back and enjoy what's happened to, for, for, for too long. You just, you just got to move on to the next game.